All right. What I'm going to demonstrate here is how to amortize the discounts on a notes payable with a lump sum. And we'll use the effective interest method. So what is our notes payable? Well, let's take an example here where we purchase a building in exchange for a notes payable. So what we do here is we purchase the building at the beginning of the first year and then in this case at the end of the fourth year we we pay for that building at, on a notes payable. So what we have to calculate here is how much interest expense is included on in that notes payable over that four year span. So once we determine that then we can amortize and allocate that interest expense paid on the notes payable to the income statement over the four year period. So what we would do first here is we have to we know what we're going to pay four years after four years. So we take that amount here, that payment, and we have to discount it back to uh, the present value here at the beginning of the first year. So in, I, what I'd use is a calculator, or in this case, I use an Excel function or formula. So let's look at the Excel function. So we know what our interest rate is here. Well, it was 10%. And then we had four years of period, and then we paid $4,000 at, at the end of the fourth year. So that's a future value. And then we paid it at the end of the year, so we put in zero here on this Excel function. Then we came up with our present value here, which is $2,732. So the $4,000 payment at the end of the fourth year is worth $2,732 today at the present value. Okay, now we know we can calculate our interest expense here. So we have to amortize that interest over four years and using that 10% interest rate. And we calculate that here by um, $4,000 is the future value minus $2,732, which was our present value that we calculated. And that amounts to $1,268 that we have to amortize over that four-year period. Now we have to determine our interest expense for each of the next four years. We do that by starting with a beginning balance here of $2,732, which was our discounted notes payable value at the beginning of year one. That was its present value. Then we take the interest expense or interest rate, which is 10% times the beginning balance here and we have a uh, interest expense of two hundred seventy three dollars for the year so then we add the interest expense to the beginning balance and we get an ending balance here of three thousand and five dollars which is our carrying value for our notes payable then the ending balance of year one becomes the beginning balance of year two three thousand and five dollars times our interest rate here of ten percent and we get an interest expense here of $301. So you add that to the beginning balance and you come up with an ending balance of $3,306. Now you do the same things for years three and years four. Let's look here at year four. We had a beginning balance of $3,636 plus our interest expense of $364. You add those together and you get a balance of $4,000. And then you subtract your payment here. We made a payment paid off the notes payable of $4,000. So you have an ending balance of zero. So the end of year balance would be the first of year balance plus the interest expense for the year. And then here if we look at our amortized interest, that would be the interest times the first of the year balance times the interest rate. And just remember here that the first of the year balance is the end of last year's balance. So the end of a year one balance is the beginning balance of year two. Let's look how we record notes payable. Well, notes payable is a liability on the balance sheet and associated with it we have a discount here in notes payable. Now that's a contra expense account here. Now over in a notes payable expense we have to record our expense items and that's part of net income on the income statement. So let's look here at the beginning of year one. Well, we record a notes payable here, an increase in notes payable of $4,000. Then we go down and we 
record the discount on notes payable. Now remember that's a contra expense account. Now that works opposite the notes payable or it decreases the notes payable. So we have started out with here a discounted amount of $1,268 and of course that was calculated here based on uh, what we'd pay in the end of year four and then its present value in the beginning of year one. And then for each year we decrease the discount on notes payable here by the interest expense that we pay. So then at the at the end of the year fourth year the discount here would be reduced to zero, zero balance and discount on notes payable. Then the associated uh, debit entry here would be to the building expense for the interest expense that we incurred each of the four years. Now let's look up here. When we purchased the building in the beginning of year one, we had the present value of that notes payable recorded here as a building expense or as, as an expense item. And then when we added the interest expense for each year, we come up with a $4,000 net value here. So that's what we paid on our notes payable. Now if we go over here to notes payable, at the end of fourth year, we pay off that note. So we debit notes payable here, reduce the balance to zero, and then the credit balance would be to here to reduce cash. Or we paid $4,000 cash on our notes payable. So that's a summary on how I'll record a discount on a notes payable.